There's one other thing I'd like to say, and I've got to I've got to set up a little bit. First of all, I think if you know me, you know I'm a gentleman, and I just told you my wife always likes to drive. It's not that, and I and I would always open the door for her, but she doesn't really care to have me do that. Keep that in mind. Also, have any of you seen the Geico commercial where Charlie Daniels takes the fiddle and just destroys it, hands it back to the guy and says, "That's how you do it, son." If you have. Keep it in mind. Uh, several weeks ago, we were at another wedding reception. At the end of the reception, we walked outside and there's a big awning or a carport there, and it was really raining. It was raining so much that it looked like, you know, a waterfall coming off that carport. All these guys are huddled at the edge of that water, ready to dash out and get their cars for their wives. The wives are all huddled back here, you know, waiting for the car to appear. Pam and I walk out. There happens to be a fellow there standing with a umbrella. He said to me, would you like to borrow my umbrella? I said, sure. I took the umbrella. I handed it to my wife. She proceeded to open the umbrella and run through the deluge into the darkness to the chagrin of all these guys watching all this. About a minute later, here comes our Suburban, my wife driving it, pulls right up. I get into the passenger side, I hand the umbrella back to the young man, and I said, that's how you do it, son. It was Toronto on a shopping trip. It happened to be the night we got married. We took the train from Lansing to Toronto. We got out of there and the taxi took us to this big high-rise hotel. It was beautiful. We stayed up on the one of the top floors. They called it the uh, shopper's suite, I guess. Now this hotel is right out front of, or right behind the International Airport. And the airplanes would fly directly at our room, right at the window. Then they would make a sharp left turn and they would land on the runway in front of the building. I happen to be a pilot, so I'm very entertained with watching airplanes. You wouldn't believe how many hours we spent watching those airplanes. No, wait a minute. We spent most of our time shopping. That's right. Anyways, in the middle of the night, I hear this sound. I jump up out of bed and I thought, it's over. It's all done. I'm at least going to see the airplane and that takes me out. So I run up to the window and I whip the curtains open and I look out, nothing. Nothing but the serenity of darkness and the blinking lights. Then from behind me I hear, talk about shock and awe. I turn to see my wife, just as saw logs.